Huh, why do I feel like people are gonna shit a chicken over this video? Hey guys, so let's talk about this notion that it's impossible for non-white people to be racist. Spoiler alert, it's not. You know you've heard it before, and it's usually expressed in just this same exact tone of voice. Black and people what's so sad cannot about be it? racist because what, we don't have the power to be racist. Black that, people did not hate white people. I've ever heard. Black people did not rape white people in slavery. So the argument here is that racism, regardless of its working definition, is actually power plus privilege. So again, that's not the working definition, but that is an academic definition, one that's really just used in sociology courses. But if we're gonna be real, you hear a lot of shit in sociology courses. Although to be fair, they probably use that definition in the Beyonce college course as well. And yeah, there is a Beyonce college course, that's not a joke. So the power plus privilege theory first appeared in a book called Developing New Perspectives on Race, and that was in 1970, and since then it's just taken off and you can't go into a sociology course without hearing that definition. So this only white people can be racist thing is really the only socially acceptable view you can have in 2016, but it's interesting to me to see a sociological theory be used as if it's some sort of scientific fact, especially considering it's not the actual definition of racism. I mean, if you've ever taken a sociology course, you know you're introduced to a variety of different perspectives on human society. It's not just you hear one and suddenly that is what is the truth. That is, if you had a decent sociology teacher. I had one about a year ago who was flat out telling us not to vote for Donald Trump. It's a different story. But the point is, of course, that it's not concrete and I have a different perspective. Anyone can be racist, and you know, if you've ever actually stepped outside into the world and interacted with different people, you'd kind of know that. I've met Mexicans who are racist against Blacks, I've met Asians that don't particularly like Mexicans, it just is what it is. I also think that immunizing every single race except white people from being racist opens the door for a lot of things to go unchecked. I mean, I did a video on this over the summer in Charlotte where there were literally packs of Black people attacking white people after you know, a police shooting. He white! Finish it! Bitch! Black folk! 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 They white get their ass! Ah, nigga! Hold that bitch up! And I'm sorry, but if you're willing to give a pass to people shouting insert race power and beating people of other races because of their race, how's that Kool-Aid taste? And listen, I'm not sitting here trying to enter white people into the oppression Olympics, but I'm just trying to say that I think racism goes in every and any direction. But I do think it's becoming trendy and popular to express how much you hate white people. BuzzFeed just recently did an article about school presentations and just look at what was in the article. This one says, white people stay colonizing. And the girl, how cute, is wearing a make America brown again shirt. And don't even bullshit me and tell me that would be okay the other way around. Someone with a make America white again shirt or hat or anything wouldn't even be allowed to step foot on my campus. How white people plague the planet. Looks like he claims to have gotten an A on that as well. Because we're not only going to allow racism, we're going to reward it. White people are a plague to the planet. Now let's just see how quickly we can change this into something that would be national news and a school scandal. Would it be okay the other way around? Ask yourself. And if it wouldn't be okay the other way around, it's just racism. And anything else you try to call it is just semantics or you trying to sugarcoat it. It's just racism. And then you have Black Lives Matter, a group whose supposed goal is to curtail race hatred, but they're actually founded on it. Let's just look at Yusra Kigali. She is the founder of Black Lives Matter Toronto and has said some really just emotional, inspirational things about white people. Whiteness is not humanness. White is subhuman. White people are a genetic defect of blackness. So let's just get this straight. Someone who thinks that a race of people are subhuman isn't racist because she's black. Bye. So it's really interesting to me to see how saying these things about white people is popularized, is socially acceptable, and in some cases rewarded, as we saw with that guy who literally got an A for saying that white people are a plague to the planet. And then in the same breath, people will freak out and are literally shaking over the rise of white nationalism in the country when, I mean, clearly I am not an apologist for racism on either side, but it's kind of an expected result, don't you think? So listen, there was a time in America where racism really did only flow in one direction, at least in a meaningful, impactful way. We did have Jim Crow, we did have laws that disadvantaged 
black people. But it's my opinion that now we're in an age where race is a much more complicated landscape. That might be hard for some people to understand if you don't live in America. I get messages all the time from people from New Zealand or Australia or the UK who say, race is not as big of a deal here. Like, why do you guys always talk about it? I don't know, we just do. What I see lately is a lot of push and shove from both ends of the spectrum. The other day I tweeted something along the lines of, you know, I'm tired of hearing about race where it's not relevant or something like that. And honey, I had my Twitter mentions blowing up from white supremacists, white nationalists, and from Black Lives Matter and black supremacists. I mean, to me, they are just one and the same. Both ends of that spectrum are obsessed with race, and I really don't see that much of a difference between them. In fact, I juxtaposed the two tweets from a white supremacist and a black supremacist, put them in a tweet, and it was hilarious. They both thought that I was like an apologist for the other side. I mean, so long story short, white is not a synonym for racist and minority is not a synonym for oppressed. Okay, bye.